about the infertility. Yeah. Uh, would you please tell us there is, what are the, like in part a couple, yeah. when we see that their age is quite increased, like even yeah. 40 years old woman mm -hmm. just looking for pregnancy, mm -hmm. it's for maybe for different reasons. Nowadays people are becoming more yeah. um, education and that is their age. And that is taking to think about the marriage and pregnancy and child, it, uh, it's, it's taken a bit uh, older age. So what are the implications of this increased age on fertility and on pregnancy, both for mother and for the um, both parents? I mean, um, it is very common to see in women in late 30s and 40s trying to get pregnant. Uh, what happens, like every one of us is born with certain number of eggs which are produced when you're inside your mother's tummy. Mm -hmm. But over the years, the number of eggs become less and less. Mm -hmm. And ultimately what happens is the number of eggs become less and you have menopause around the age of 50. Mm -hmm. What happens in your late 30s, the number of eggs become less, not only in the quantity, but also in the quality of the egg. So what happens is when you come for fertility treatment, as I was telling, we do a scan to do what is called as measurement of the follicles, the number of follicles and some hormone tests to find out how the ovary these are going to be behaving during IVF treatment. Right. So what happens in the late 30s and the early 40s, these hormones indicate that your response during IVF treatment will be less. And also when you're trying to get pregnant naturally, the probability of conception is very less. Uh, and the olden eggs, they are more prone for chromosomal abnormalities. So you must have heard about Mongol baby, what is called as Down syndrome. So this happens when the woman is more than 40. So what happens, we have the science which has evolved like where we can screen the embryos for the chromosomes and put the normal embryos during the IVF treatment to avoid these complicated pregnancies. But these treatments are not very cheap and they're very costly treatments. And these can't be recommended to everybody as such. And also people have to be counseled regarding the risks during pregnancy like blood pressure and diabetes and cardiac problems and increased cesarean sections and baby being born early and small uh, apart from the chromosomal abnormalities. So, but of course the world is changing now. People are going for their career, they want to enjoy their life. They don't have time for the right man in the right time. So, so we are faced with a difficult population in front of us mm -hmm. whom we have to deal with it, mm -hmm. but we have to understand the treatment, the success rate becomes less if you're over 40 to be less than 10%. Yeah. So if you're in your early 30, the success will be around 50% mm -hmm. of achieving a live birth mm -hmm. during IVF treatment. So this has to be put into context for every patient when we do the counseling for IVF. So, 